Welcome to lesson five, which is infinitives. We're on chapter four today. This is English three. We're on page 28 of the Fast Track three book today. So we're going to do pages 28 to 32, and then we're going to do the rest of the chapter in the next lesson. Let's get started. Uh, re listen and repeat. To plant. To plant. That means you put plants in the ground. This is also called gardening, is taking care of plants in general, not just planting. Okay, so next we have to conquer. To conquer is to win. This soldier is going to win over the game that she is playing to run the obstacle course. To forgive. To forgive. This is to let your anger go. The dog did something wrong and it's sorry, so the dog's mom and dad are going to forgive their, their puppy for doing something bad. To enjoy. To enjoy. That means you're having fun. This guy is in virtual reality. He apparently just won, so he put his hands up in the air because he enjoys the game. To enjoy. To err. To err. To err is to make a mistake. Everyone does it every day. All right. Fill in the blanks with the infinitives. Listen and fill in the blanks. To err is human. To forgive is divine. Alexander Pope. This means that when you, uh, when you do something stupid, um, you need to forgive yourself. If someone does something stupid to you or in front of you, you need to forgive them because they're human too. Uh, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Audrey Hepburn, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. This means that gardens take all spring and summer to grow. So you have to believe that the spring and summer are going to happen. If you want to conquer fear, don't sit at home and think about it. If you want to conquer fear, don't sit at home and think about it. It's Dale Carnegie. Carnegie was a very famous speaker. Audrey Hepburn was a very famous actor. Alexander Pope did a lot of things. He was very literally a Renaissance man, but he's most known for his diary he wrote about living in London. To be or not to be, that is the question. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare wrote Hamlet, which is where this is from. To be or not to be, that is the question. I've always tried to go a step past wherever people expected me to be. Beverly Sills. I've always tried to go a step past wherever people expected me to be. Beverly Sills was an extremely famous opera singer. My business is to enjoy and have fun. My business is to enjoy and have fun. That's Janis Joplin, a very famous singer. An infinitive is two plus a verb. To go skydiving is scary. These people have flippers on, so not only are they skydiving, they're going to dive into a river. That's really scary. Adventurous. Adventurous. It means willing to do scary things. To retire. To retire. That means you stop working at a regular job. That doesn't mean you quit living. This retired person is showing his grandchildren about plants and probably teaching a lesson. Amazing. Amazing. Really awesome. This is probably the Grand Canyon. It's an, an amazing view of that particular lake. Or it could be another place. It looks like Canada, actually. Bucket list. Bucket list. This is a list of things you want to do before you die. And it's very important for everyone to make one and to start doing some of them while you're on the planet. This person apparently wanted to go biking in the Grand Canyon. Okay, Sarah and Danny are talking. They're talking. So listen first, and then we'll listen and repeat. What's on your bucket list? Hmm, to go skydiving is one item. Another is to drive a race car. You're adventurous. Not yet, but I hope to do some exciting things in my life. What about you? Mine is mostly a list of new skills. One wishes to learn Italian. Really? Why Italian? I want to retire in Italy when I get older. That sounds nice. Maybe I'll visit you there one day. Oh, I'd love you to come visit. There are so many amazing sites in Italy. Sites. S-I-T-E-S. Site. 
is like a monument or uh, something like that. Uh, Italy has the Colosseum. They have many Roman ruins. Those are the sites of the Romans in Italy. Actually, I was thinking mostly about all the amazing food. Okay, repeat after me. What's on your bucket list? By the way, this is a very good question for your test. Know the answer to this question. It's a good idea for you to start writing something on your bucket list. Hmm. To go skydiving is one item. Another is to drive a race car. You're adventurous. Not yet, but I hope to do some exciting things in my life. What about you? Mine is mostly a list of new skills. One wish is to learn Italian. Really? Why Italian? I want to retire in Italy when I get older. That sounds nice. Maybe I'll visit you there one day. Oh, I'd love you to come visit. There are so many amazing sites in Italy. Actually, I was thinking mostly about all the amazing food. Danny sounds hungry. <laughs> okay, one more time. Listen and repeat the conversation between Sarah and Danny. There's a lot of infinitives in there. The to, to go, to do, to learn. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Listen and repeat. What's on your bucket list? Hmm. To go skydiving is one item. Another is to drive a race car. You're adventurous. Not yet, but I hope to do some exciting things in my life. What about you? Mine is mostly a list of new skills. One wish is to learn Italian. Really? Why Italian? I want to retire in Italy when I get older. That sounds nice. Maybe I'll visit you there one day. Oh, I'd love you to come visit. There are so many amazing sites in Italy. Actually, I was thinking mostly about all the amazing food. Meaning chunk. Nominal infinitives. To go skydiving is one item. Another item is to drive a race car. One wishes to learn Italian. I hope to do some exciting things in my life. I want to retire in Italy when I get older. Oh, I'd love you to come visit. Anomalous infinitive is either, either you, it used as, the whole thing is, is used as a subject or an object. Okay, to go skydiving is the subject. To drive a race car in the next sentence is an object. Let's take a look. Subject. Listen and repeat. To see germs with our bare eyes is impossible. It is impossible to see germs with our bare eyes. Now, what this means is you need a microscope to see germs, or which can be bacteria, like pneumonia, pneumococcus, or something really scary like a virus, like coronavirus. To drive without a seatbelt is dangerous. That means it is dangerous to drive without a seatbelt. Seatbelt's a thing holding you in the car in case there's an accident. I was in an accident two years ago and my seatbelt and my airbag kept me safe. I only had a tiny cut on my arm. I was very lucky. Object. Now, there, you can be an object of a verb or it can be the object of a preposition, the nominal uh, to infinitive. I want to go to Australia for a vacation. Listen and repeat. We agreed to start as soon as possible. To agree means you decide to do something together. You both decide. She plans to buy a house in the country. Object of the preposition. They have no alternative except to surrender. 
we're using accept and but here, accept and but. Uh, surrender means you give up. Alternative means you have a choice. No alternative means you have no choice. He did not have any choice but to pay the fine. A fine is money you have to pay because you did something that's against the law, like you crossed the street, not in a crosswalk. Subject compliment. My advice is to call before leaving. The advice is something you tell someone to do, like you should. The aim is to increase sales. The aim is the target, the goal, the thing that you want to do. Her wish is to be an actor. Object compliment. Listen and repeat. I want him to apologize. So there's an object. I want him. And the compliment the, is the to apologize. The uh, nominal phrase. They told me to deliver a message. We need you to work late tonight. Ooh, that's something you don't want to hear. Listen and repeat. Uh, WH plus infinitive, WH are whom, what, when, where, why, and how, and whether. Whether, you can either say whether or whether or not. Most people just say whether. She never knows whom to greet first. You can see who or whom. Technically, it's correct to say whom. I understand exactly what, I understood exactly what to do at that moment. We must decide when to schedule the event. Schedule means you put it on the calendar. You know when you're having the event. We should ask where to go for lunch. He taught me how to swim when I was young. They did not tell us whether to wait or to leave without them. Whether means uh, there's... Uh, usually a choice there, to wait or to leave. Okay, vocabulary, page 29, resources. Resources are the things you need to complete a task. In this case, you need uh, lumber, uh, which uh, they're going to move that and use the lumber for some purpose, maybe to make paper. Objective, objective, the thing that you want to do. Attack, attack. To fight. Oh my goodness, if you see, this is called the grizzly bear. It has that hump in its back. When you see a grizzly bear, run. <laughs> they, they, they generally don't attack humans, but they will if they're scared or angry or hungry, in which case you should run very fast. Multiple. Multiple. That means there's more than one. My goodness, this person has three babies at the same time. They had triplets. Multiple. Strategy. Strategy. It's a plan to solve the problem. Games, you have to use strategy to figure out how to win. Outsmart. Outsmart means you think better than someone else. Opponents. Opponents. Those are other players. Opponents. Reward. Reward. What you get for doing something. This person decided a sundae, which is ice cream, a sauce, usually chocolate, whipped cream and a cherry, is a reward for doing something. Gems. Gems. These are expensive rocks like diamond, amethyst, ruby. And goal. And goal. The result if you win or succeed. This guy's end goal is to kick the soccer ball into the net. The goalie, the goalie's end goal is to prevent the ball from going in the net. They have different end goals. Upgrade. Upgrade. That means to get something better. These are old phones you want to upgrade to a new phone. Territories. Territories. These are the lands. Instead of states, Canada has territories and a lot of really big lakes. Mobile gameplay. Learn how to play a mobile game by asking and answering questions with your partner. What's the first step? The first step is to collect resources. Okay. What is the main objective? 
The main objective is to defend your towers. Okay, listen and repeat. What's the best attack? The best attack is to send multiple armies. What's the key strategy? The key strategy is to outsmart your opponents. What is the reward for winning? The reward for winning is to receive gems. What is the end goal? The end goal is to upgrade your territories. Okay, let's do this again. Listen and repeat. What's the first step? The first step is to collect resources. What's the main objective? The main objective is to defend your towers. What's the best attack? The best attack is to send multiple armies. What's your key strategy? The key strategy is to outsmart your opponents. What's the reward for winning? The reward for winning is to receive gems. What's the end goal? The end goal is to upgrade your territories. Ooh, this looks like a castle game. That kind of be fun to play. All right, self-practice, missing infinitives. Oh, wow, we jumped to page 31 there. Okay, let's uh, go past this one. We'll, uh, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, okay, we're, we're skipping the speaking. We'll do that one later. Okay, we're jumping to page 31, self-practice. Complete the sentences with the infinitive form of the words in the box. Example, Juan likes to read the newspaper on weekday mornings. Have a safe trip. We hope to see you again soon. So listen and fill in the blank. Please be quiet. I'm trying to think of the answer. Being on time is important. So you'll have to leave. To be on time is important. So you'll have to leave early in the morning. To be on time is important. So you'll have to leave early in the morning. Danielle is feeling tired. She wants to rest for a while. Danielle is feeling tired. She wants to rest for a while. I hate flying. I prefer to take a train. I hate flying. I prefer to take a train. Ryan loves sports. His dream is to be a professional athlete. Ryan loves sports. His dream is to be a professional athlete. Your fever is getting worse. We need to, to stay in the hospital overnight. Your fever is getting worse. We need you to stay in the hospital overnight. All right, one more time. Have a safe trip. We hope to see you again soon. The house is a mess. My advice is to clean it before your mom comes home. The house is a mess. My advice is to clean it before your mom comes home. Please be quiet. I'm trying to think of the answer. To be on time is important, so you'll have to, well, to arrive on time is important. Let's do that again. To arrive on time is important. That means to come. To arrive on time is important. So you'll have to leave early in the morning. Danielle is feeling tired. She wants to rest for a while. I hate flying. I prefer to take a train. I hate flying. I prefer to take a train. Ryan loves sports. His dream is to be a professional athlete. Ryan loves sports. His dream is to be a professional athlete. A professional athlete plays a sport for money. Your fever is getting worse. We need to keep you in the hospital overnight. Okay, there's your answers. To see, to clean, to think, to arrive, to rest, to take, to be, to stay. Okay, now it says me and my friend. You can, uh, you're my partner, you're going to write something in there. Just write, uh, imagine someone is next to you and what they would say. Where do you want to go after class? To the cafe, or maybe to the library. When do you plan to finish studying today? I plan to finish studying today at 1 o'clock, or at noon, or at 5. Think about what you, uh, what, what, you, what, you would, what you would say. How do you intend to go home? 
to take a bus, to take a train, to take the subway? What do you expect to have for dinner? Uh, to have rice, to have chicken, to have pizza, what is it you're going to eat? What do you like to watch in the evening? I like to watch uh, uh, cop shows. I like to watch uh, TV shows. I like to watch movies. Or you can say, I don't watch TV. Uh, I don't watch movies, whatever you want to say. <coughs> you should, should say to something. I like to watch cop shows. What time will you try to go to bed tonight? Uh, I want to go to bed at 11. I want to go to bed at midnight. I want to go to bed at 10. When do you need to leave home tomorrow? I need to leave at 9. I need to leave at 5. I need to leave at 4. I need to leave at 1. I need to leave at noon. Hopefully you're not leaving at midnight unless you work late. <laughs> okay. Um, who do you hope to see on the weekend? Well, I Skype my friends all the time. I hope to see um, my friend Jason. I hope to see uh, my friend Jack. I hope to see my friend Christine, who's in Wuhan. We talk on, she's fine. We talk on, uh, on, uh, on Facebook. Where do you wish to go during vacation? Wish to go. Uh, you guys will probably stay in Korea this next vacation. Um, so maybe you'll go um, to Hollande. Maybe you'll go to Seoul. Okay. Uh, there are two pages on this one. There are two pages on this one. In fact, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this one. Who did Paul assign to choose a venue? Now, okay, Paul is a project matter, manager. That means uh, for organizing a fashion show. Project managers, managers in charge of everything, and they tell other people what to do. You have information about half the tasks he assigned to his team. A task is something you tell them to do something. Ask your partner the questions to fill in the missing names from the box. Who did Paul assign to choose a venue? A venue is where to have the fashion show. A venue is where it is. He assigned Clarence to choose a venue. Okay. Who did Paul assign to, to find models? He chose Herbert to find models. Who did Paul assign to choose to invite VIP guests? These are fashion icons or people from fashion houses. He picked Kim to invite VIP guests. Uh, VIP guests. Okay. Who did Paul assign to inform the press? The press are news, um, uh, cable news, um, maybe radio or TV stations. He advised uh, no one to inform the press. Okay. Who did Paul assign to? Uh, uh, who did Paul select to get makeup artists? He selected Lucy to get makeup artists. Okay. Now the rest of these, you need to find out what Emma, Ben, Jermaine, and Julia are doing. So you're going to have to go to page 103 to take a look. Let's go to 103. Okay. All right. Who did he ask to, uh, to, uh, who did he request to hire? All right. Let me try this again. Who did Paul request to hire an announcer? He requested Jermaine to hire an announcer. An announcer says, next, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Let's invite so-and-so to, to the stage. They're the ones that talk about what's going on on stage. Who did, he, who did Paul tell to arrange the transportation? People are going to have to pick up the models and the VIPs from the airport. Okay. He told Ben to arrange the transportation. He told Ben to arrange the transportation. Who did Paul want to plan the after party? The after party is a party after the whole modeling show, the whole fashion show has happened. That's where the models and the VIPs that were invited have a party. Okay. All right. He wanted Emma to plan the after party. 
He wanted Emma to plan the after party. Okay, go back over pages 103 and this page 32 and be sure you have the correct names. Be sure you have the correct names. Okay, great job, guys. We covered a lot of material today. Uh, we're going to uh, finish off the entire uh, rest of the chapter. Uh, that in, uh, uh, during our next uh, our next class time. Have a great day.